Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle and today I'm going to be reviewing The Tiny Mansion by Kira Graff. Before we get into this video, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell and that like button. And let's get into this video. Um, and also, happy uh, late Christmas. And um, so let's start talking about The Tiny Mansion. The main protagonist of this book is Dagmar and Dagmar's parents are divorced. So she's living with Trent and um, her stepmom, Leia, and Leia and Trent have a child, so her uh, half-brother, um, Santi. And um, her mom's name is Kristen, and what they do in this family, well, what they used to do at least, is um, Trent used to have, Trent and Kristen, when they were still together, they used to have Dagmar call them by their names. And now that they're divorced, Kristen doesn't want Dagmar to call her by her name, um, and she wants her to call her mom, but um, Dagmar is kind of still hurt from the divorce and everything, so she still calls both of them by their names, including her stepmom, and um, right now they've just been like kicked out of their apartment. Trent is basically um, a, he basically is a mechanic, he fixes things, um, but he's also a construction worker, so he like builds a lot of things. And um, Trent has like a knack for building things, so he does it for his own entertainment and enjoyment. And uh, Trent really enjoys doing that, and he actually like helped like decorate and make it like their own home um, in the apartment that they were living in. And now that they've been kicked out, well, they haven't really been kicked out. Actually, what happened was that Trent um, built this home for someone, and what happened is that they couldn't end up paying for the house. And Trent had spent all this money building the house, so that was a huge loss for Trent. And um, Trent doesn't now because they couldn't pay for the house. Trent doesn't have the money for the rent, and so Trent sells the apartment that was so important to Dagmar. Actually, something that she liked a lot about this family. And now they're just like living. He's built like this tiny like trailer sort of thing. It's like a tiny house, and that's why this is called Tiny Mansion. And um, on the cover, you can see like this red tiny house. That's basically it. And it's obviously hooked up to their truck in, uh, that like drives the house around. And this tiny house is now her tiny mansion. Um, so they're like basically their life is on the road. They, they're kind of like travelers now. And so Trent travels, uh, Trent drives them uh, far away, um, somewhere like really far away. And now they're in the forest and um, their life is going pretty good. You know, there's a lake, uh, uh, they've started growing crops. Um, but uh, Dagmar is a very adventurous person. She likes reading books and she likes, uh, uh, she's very, she's always like up to something. She likes pranking people. Um, and so she does a lot of things in this book that both weren't okay, but were done out of anger and sadness. Um, one of those things that she does in the beginning of the book is destroys the food that they have uh, by mixing vinegar with the milk. Um, and um, obviously, since they're already running low on money, it's not really uh, it's not really helpful that she's basically destroyed the milk. Um, so the milk is gone, and she also mixes dirt with um, uh, with the oatmeal. And everyone goes to eat oatmeal uh, when they have nothing else to like eat or just as a snack. And so she's destroyed the oatmeal too. And she hates Leah's um, Leah's uh, food. She uh, and she likes Trent's better. And Trent doesn't even know how to cook that well, but Trent's food is better anyways. Um, anyways, she feels the need to destroy, um, the food, and, uh, once she's done that, uh, nobody knows it's actually her the first time she does it. Um, and, I don't know, that's basically what she does, and she, uh, she moves on, and she discovers, uh, um, some sort of fencing, and it says no trespassing, and, um, to Dagmar, and, well, not to Dagmar, but to anyone else, they would have just, like, said, oh, no trespassing, you can't enter this area, let's move on. Besides, there's this high gate, why would you even want to climb the gate and see what's behind that fence? Well, Dagmar really wants to see, so, um, Dagmar works up, uh, the courage to uh, bring Santi with her. She actually she didn't work up any courage. She forced Santi along with her. Um, and now they're both past the gate. They climb the gate, they're past the gate, and um, 
suddenly this this boy catches her and says you gotta get out and like this is a no trespassing area and his parents are arguing with someone else and later on that boy comes to their uh, settlement I guess you could say and his name is Blake and um, Blake is just like Dagmar except he he's really rich and his dad um, his dad basically invented like smart houses so smart houses can do like anything and basically everything for you and that's both a good and bad thing and as you can see this is that's obviously really advanced but it's mostly a bad thing because if your house does everything for you what are you gonna do you're just gonna lay around do nothing and uh, there's you know there's no movement or no physical activity and it's just not good in general um, but he is the creator of smart houses so he's super rich and um, uh, Blake's has like family problems and and um, I don't know if you've noticed but Blake and Dagmar are very similar Dagmar has family problems um, and she's very adventurous she's very mischievous and then there's Blake who's basically the same except the only thing that's different about them is that um, is that he's rich and she's not and um, by family problems what uh, I mean is that Blake's aunt and uncle had a disagreement with his dad um, and apparently a really long time ago before smart houses had existed they all came up with the idea and they supported um, the uh, uh, sorry Blake's dad and um, all of a sudden Blake's dad wants all the money for himself so they he kind of like shoves them to the side and there's no mention of their name no one knows the real story behind the smart houses. So um, that's what I mean by family problems. So now all of them disagree, but they live on the same land. Um, one, uh, Blake's uncle, he has like traps around his house and they're actually to keep Blake's dad from coming to his house. And um, Blake's aunt is just humble and I, she wouldn't really be arguing with anyone uh, if she had a choice, but uh, she's just humble. She likes meditating and she has no traps around her house. Um, and then there's Blake's dad, just hates everyone in general and never really has time for Blake. Um, so uh, these two become friends despite the fact that they would never become friends if they had nothing better to do. And um, Blake has a security guard, so the security guard keeps track of them. Uh, not really, because they go to the mall and they basically demolish the mall while running away from the security guard. It's basically this game that Blake and his security guard play. And they sort of trash the entire mall, left, and um, uh, Blake's security guard had them hop in the car and they literally sped off. So I mean, best security guard ever? Not really. Um, but um, this book was really interesting and you can just see how their worlds collide and maybe how Blake could possibly help, um, how Blake could possibly help uh, Dagmar to uh, improve her family situation at the moment, and how Dagmar could possibly help uh, improve Blake's family situation at the moment. Uh, this book was really good, and I had a really fun time reading it. Left you on the edge of your seat the whole time, and it was just a fun read. Um, to be honest, it was just like really fun to read. Um, so I recommend this book to all of you. If you guys want to get this book, check out the description box below where I will leave the links for Amazon, Google Books, and Barnes and & Nobles. And um, as you guys know, I have a sneak peek to my book reviews where I show you guys what the next book I'm going to be reviewing looks like. And um, it is called Finding Fortune. And here's what it looks like. And um, as you can see, it's by Delia Ray, and uh, make sure you uh, look out for this video. I post every Sunday, so make sure you check out my page. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!